With a few tools and a little bit of time, you can make this topper for your folding table for your next party or event. First, measure your table and determine how many boards you will need to cover your table. Next, inspect your boards and decide which side is the best side. Once you determine that, flip your boards upside down, you'll be working from the bottom. Once you decide which side is the bottom, you'll want to drill pocket holes. You can decide how many, but I did about five holes in each of the boards. You only need to drill holes in five of the six boards. Before you drill all the boards, it's a good idea to do a test run and make sure that your pocket hole size is correct and that your boards are secure. I did three quarter inch pocket holes and I used a one and a half inch pocket to hole screw. This works, so now I'm going to put pocket holes in the rest of the boards. Remember, you only need to do one side of each of the boards. If you don't have a Craig jig and you plan on doing more woodwork in the future, it's a great investment piece. Once all of your boards have the pocket holes in them, use pocket hole screws to connect the boards together. As you work, make sure that things are level and that they're lining up easy on the end. I use a towel sometimes to help me make everything level. Once everything is attached, flip it over and you have the top of your cover. Inspect the boards to make sure that, again, everything is level and everything is lined up. Next, you're going to attach the side. I'm using a one by three by six foot piece to attach to the side and I'm using one and a half inch finishing nails to attach it. Now you need to measure the short ends. Mine measured 34 and a half inches, but you should double check yours to include the side that you just attached to the long side. Once everything is attached, your top is complete. For a more finished look, use wood putty to fill in holes and sand. Next, I like to use water prior to staining to bring out the look of the wood. Then use your favorite stain to cover your table. Once this dries, I will also be sealing it in order to ensure an easy cleanup from spills and to protect the wood. That's it. This was a relatively easy project and I'm really thrilled with how it came out. I think this would be a great addition to anybody's Thanksgiving or holiday table. For more tips and tricks, please visit graceandmora.com.